Okay, doke. So we have all our jazz here, all our stuff, and we're getting ready to rig. So what we need to do is get out of edit mode and go into object mode. We're going to select our dog, and then we're going to hold down shift and select the bones, and we're going to press control P, and we're going to select automatic weights. But before you do, hold your breath, wish happy thing, think happy thoughts. And pray that the weights will transfer automatically and you don't have to do it manually. Okay, here we go. Yay, it worked. <laughs> so you're going to press post mode and click on our bones, blue bones, and press R. And you see our dog has weights. Thank the blender stars. Thank the stars. That's what I'm doing. So we have all of that jazz. So now it's a matter of weight painting and correcting and seeing what looks right, what don't look right, and then fixing it so that it does all look right. And then once it's done, we can take it over to the fancy eye blender, add the tail, put the eyes in, you know, all that fun stuff, and uh, get it going. The head. Oh, ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's not good. It's not supposed to be doing that. It should be, what bone is that? This is the head. So all, everything should be on the head with that. Uh, let's see what's holding it up. So let's go into weight paint mode and see what's a cracking. All right, so we need to remove some of this neck weight from the head. So I like to just turn it down. Oh, if you find yourself unable to paint, make sure this little box right here next to the camera button is unchecked so now when we go like this you see yay look at all that weight happening so i'm turning my volume down to nothing uh to making it at zero and removing all the weight here i'm doing the same thing on this side just making sure cool head is here um really don't like using skull weight on anything but I guess it's okay I'm just gonna clear it over the eyes and speaking of eyes you want to make sure that the eyes don't have any weight on anything because if the eyes jerk and it's got weight on something the eyes are gonna jerk and your face is gonna go like it, 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 it. and we don't want that so let's just click on this and use the Alva star tool to remove weights because I don't feel like running a big zero brush across it and missing something. So I'm going to use the Avastar panel and then scroll down it says remove weights. So I'm just going to remove the weights from that and remove the weights from that. That way it totally knocks out any control it has over that. Saving some time just in case we don't miss any places. Because I used to just run a zero brush over it and I had weight on the mouth. So I thought everything was fine until my eyes started darting around and my mouth was shooting out the side of my face. It was a nightmare. So I'm going to do the same thing for Skull. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't trust Skull. <laughs> I know some people make these animations and they rig the skull to the eyes. So I don't want the head blinking or anything like that. So I'm just going to turn all the weight from Skull head to head. Which is this. I'm about to do Whoops. Intruding on neck space. We don't want that. But that's just me. I mean, you don't have to do that either. You could just leave skull alone. I'm just paranoid when it comes to skull. Because people use skull for stupid stuff. Alright, speaking of stupid, my eye is missing, uh, let's just spread some weight here, whoop, oh, poor puppy, coming into existence like this, alright, uh, see anything else globbing up, what in the, uh, Alright, just kind of leave it alone, I guess. Let's see 
what that's about when we add the bento stuff. But I have no idea what that is. Let me see, now just mode. Is it his lip? Okay, we'll see. So this is some neckery stuff going on here. There we go. Perfect neck. Alright, so all head here. And there should not be any head weights on his lower body. So watch where you paint. It is very easy to grab something else. As you can see, I rigged his whole lower body to his head just now. So you want to be careful with that. Nothing there. Uh -huh. Nothing there. Let's go for these. <sighs> yes. Puppy. Cute puppy. Alright, so we got our dog all rigged and is set to go into the second stage of production, which is... I forgot. What is the next stage of production? Ah, yeah, turn it bento. So, we're going to save on our desktop and I'm going to name this Golden Puppy. I'm going to put it in its project folder. Yay! Alright, so we have it here, and we're going to scoot over to the other blender at Avastar. So, I guess we can wait for this to be another video, right? Yes. Next, see you in the next video!